Today we're talking about something a little different, and this definitely crosses over into the consumer grade and musical instrument MI world, but this is a couple year old product that is just really cool, really affordable, and for live sound use is going to be just so valuable, I think, uh, that I'm excited. This is the Focusrite iTrack Dock. Now, if you've come here looking for a video about how to make your next demo record or your next album, this isn't the right video. This unit will do that for you. It works with a ton of different apps, uh, GarageBand, which I'm going to show you briefly, and you can record a demo on it. It's insane the kind of stuff you guys have. I remember having a Tascam 424, old tape deck 4-track, had to save up to get a crappy DOD reverb unit uh, just to have some reverb. You have so much stuff now in an iPad and something like this. It's crazy, crazy. So what we're going to use this for, I said it works with GarageBand, and we're going to use GarageBand to record voiceovers, a VOG or Voice of God announcement that you would record on site live at a gig. So if they come to you with a script and here I want you to say this stuff and you don't want to say because you've got a thousand other things going on during the show, you don't want to be stopping to do VOGs, you can pre-record them awesome and then we're going to take them and put them in a go button so you have them in a cart style player so you can play back those you can also put them into a playlist so they happen automatically if you have for instance a uh, walk-in music playlist of jazz music you can stick your VOG announcements into that playlist and they'll just happen during the playlist and you can also use it to trigger other stuff I've got it integrated into my video setup right now so I can do things like play sound effects just as I need to very very cool and then the other thing I'm going to show you is how you could use this to do a setup like that where you have pre-recorded on-site VOGs you've got other sound effects stinger music walk up walk off music but then you can also use this direct monitor button you could give somebody like a show producer a pair of headphones this unit an iPad and a regular SM58 you don't even need a mic with a switch and this button right here gives them the ability to do live VOGs with their mic and then they have a nice big easy to use volume control so I'm going to show you how to do all this this is really cool everything you're seeing here I bought on eBay used so the Focusrite iTrack I paid like 40 bucks for the iPad mini original iPad mini I spent like 120 bucks on so this is about just under $200 worth of stuff the software is all free and it's just an incredibly powerful little setup let's check it out so I'm gonna go into our iPad here I'm using an iPad mini and this is the dock itself and what we're gonna use to play back the voiceover is go button so let's take a look at go button see if we have a show set up in there yet uh, I've got a test show and we'll open up go button here and see what we've got so the kind of thing the go button does is it allows you to play uh, back cues, but this is really what we're talking about today is these uh, these hits that, uh, that let you hot button things. So if I hit something like that, the sad trombone, you can hear uh, that playing. So I'm using a really simple and cheap PG-48. Uh, I've tested this with my good voiceover, my condenser mic. Uh, there is phantom power on input number two and uh, that, that totally works, but figuring what you'd have normally would be like a switched SM58. I just grabbed a PG48, and we're gonna give it a shot with that. I've got that plugged into input one here on the back, and then the gain knob, uh, you just turn it up, hey, hey, hey. You turn that gain knob up until uh, you see it hitting yellow, but not you do not want it hitting into the red, so somewhere around there, hey, hey. So we got good signal going in. Uh, right now, you're listening, I'm recording off of the monitor output, which is what we would normally use to hook this up to our PA system or mixer, um, and those are balanced quarter inch outputs. So today I'm just using one, just doing that in mono right out of there. So if you wanted to hear what I'm doing, you can hit this direct monitor button here, and now you'll be hearing me talking through the uh, the 48, through the focus right, and I'm recording that into my Tascam uh, external recorder. And then that monitor level. So if you're recording a voiceover live uh, in a room with a PA system, you want to have that down and just use your headphones to monitor that uh, that affects that as well. So we can turn the direct monitor off. 
and that uh, that won't be there for now. Let's get back out of Go Button, and we're going to go into GarageBand, and we're going to set up and record our uh, first voiceover. So we're going to select Audio Recorder. Pretty simple. It says we have an audio device connected. I, do, I don't want to turn on monitoring. That's software monitoring, and that has latency. I'm going to use the, the focus right for this, so I'll cancel that. Uh, hit OK there, select Dry, select our channel uh, 1, input 1, monitoring is off, so that should be all working. And if I switch my microphone on, you'll see, hey, hey, you'll start to see the VU meters jump. And if we want to hear what this sounds like again, now you're hearing me through the focus right. So we've got signal. Hey, check 1, 2, we've got plenty of signal there. That's looking good. And you can go through and adjust things like tone, you can add reverb, you can do all sorts of stuff within GarageBand at this point, but we're gonna record dry. This is a voiceover, very simple. And I'm gonna record here, pretty simple. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen please, please find your, find your seats. This evening's this event, evening's event will, will take... I've take... <laughs> messed that one up. This is why we this record, why we record them. them. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen please, please take your seats. Take your Tonight's, Tonight's event, event will begin will momentarily. Begin momentarily. And let's go back and take a look, see what we got there. I'm going to turn direct monitor off, and I can go in here and trim this, so I know I made a mistake. So let's uh, turn my headphones up, take a listen here. Ladies and gentlemen, please find your seats. This evening's event will take... <laughs> I've messed that one up. This is why we record them. So now I know that that's all nonsense, so I'm going to drag my playhead to there, bring this back, and let's see what we got now. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. It's not the easiest thing to edit with your fingertip. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. Now this microphone does sound awful, but we get the idea. That, that low-end muffly crap, that's the PG-48. Uh, I don't use this mic for almost anything. It's just the idea of something really cheap that you've got laying around already can be used for this. So, now, we're happy with that. Maybe we want to add just a little bit of compression. And maybe we want to add just a touch of reverb to make it a little bit bigger sounding. Let's take a listen. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. Now that's just a little bit too much verb, maybe. Let's back that down. We just want a tiny bit. Let's take another listen there. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. All right, and we've got one little hiccup there on the inside. Let's see if I get rid of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. All right, so now we've got our file that we're happy with. That's fantastic, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and go back out to my songs, and that'll automatically save that recording. Now we want to go select, select your song, uh, share. We're going to look at the share menu, take these headphones off now. The share menu comes up, and the only way I've figured out how to make this work yet that's really simple is we share to iCloud Drive. We're going to choose Song, not Project, because we're not uh, collaborating with somebody on this. We don't need them to open the whole song or the, the whole project. We just want the WAV file. We're going to choose Apple Lossless. You can choose whatever quality you want. Uh, artist, voiceover, composer, me, album, corporate voiceovers. And I'm going to share that. Now this is going to prepare it to share to iCloud Drive, and then it's going to pop up an iCloud Drive menu and ask me where I want to share that. So I'm going to go ahead and share that to VOG Recording, and that's Voice of God for a corporate job, and then export to this location. And that's going to go ahead and export that. So now we're going to jump into iCloud Drive and see if that file transferred over. So we go into iCloud Drive, my VOG Record folder, and there is my file. Very good. So, again, select. We're going to select that, and we are going to again share. And at this point, you'll see this copy to go button. That's what we want. 
So what this does, let's go through that one more time. So you're in iCloud Drive, you're in the folder where you saved your uh, song or your track. We are going to hit the I button there and that brings up the information about the song. All the way up in the top right, another share button, copy to go button. That's what we want right there. So copy to go button and that is going to put it uh, into my documents folder in go button and that's the folder that you can access when you sync uh, with uh, a, a laptop, you'll see this under, that's the folder under Go Button. It's Go Button's Documents folder, not like your master documents folder or anything like that. So now we're inside Go Button and we're going to edit our show. We're going to add that voiceover in here. So I can go to edit and then I can either add it as a cue or add it as a hit. So I'll put it in both just so you can see how they work differently from one another. So now we're in Documents and that was labeled My Song add that and that's going to be right there and then I'm going to also add it uh, we'll save that you can customize fades all that kind of stuff I'm also going to add it down here as a hit and let that be really easy to uh, can change colors save that there as a hit so now done done editing and I'm in go button I'm live I'm on an event and if I want that voiceover to fire, all I have to do is hit Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. Pretty sweet. I can also play it as a cue, or I can just select it here, and then I can put it in, in a list of cues if I want this to happen uh, in amongst a, a playlist of walking music, something like that. I can have background music going and I can lay this in as a cue. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Tonight's event will begin momentarily. And you see that it works there also. So really, really handy way to get custom voiceovers pre-recorded on a job site. This little guy is so light and it's simple it's got balanced outputs you don't need di boxes or anything else you're not worried about a three and a half just recently this ipad the iphone the the headphone output on this ipad stopped working just recently so here's a really cool part if we've got a playlist happening if we've got all of our pre-recorded vogs going say i've given this to a producer somebody that's calling the show and they've got their sad trombone <laughs> cue happening i don't even need to give them a switched mic anymore i can give them a hardwired mic with no switch and give them this direct monitor button as a record bu as, a, as a live uh, on button essentially and they can do a live vog right from here ladies and gentlemen please take your seats Hey, 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 hey. So you can see this works as a little mixer. It's got all their cues. This thing is freaking awesome for live events. And I'm really excited. These are incredibly cheap on eBay. Uh, I paid like 40 bucks for this on eBay. This is a really cheap package. I, d I just want to get that across to anybody who doesn't do this kind of stuff professionally. For this kind of functionality in the past, you would need an Instant Replay 360 or something similar. Uh, you would need usually some sort of preamp or mixer to run the microphone into and to monitor real time with your headphones for doing those VOGs. It's thousands of dollars worth of equipment and trying to show somebody how to operate one of those that's never worked on one before is not a quick thing. This may seem a little clunky by today's standards of just being able to record. If you could record right into Go Button, maybe that's a feature that's coming or I just haven't figured it out. I don't think it is in there. Uh, but if you could record into Go Button, this would be a dream scenario. But as it is, this is insane that you can buy all this even at new prices. It's a fraction of the cost of a Instant Replay 360 or something similar. Uh, so even if you brought, bought this uh, iTrack brand new and the iPad Mini brand new and a brand new SM58 for $100, even if you bought all that brand new, it's still a fraction of what this used to cost us to do. And pretty much anybody, I think, could figure out how to use this. This isn't difficult. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video, the Focusrite iTrack dock. Do you have one? Have you used one? Uh, go button. I haven't used it so much in the real world. I'm still using QLab mostly. So if you've used go button and have found anything out that we should know about, uh, drop it in the comments below. 
And be sure to like, subscribe if you like the video, or head over to Patreon if you want to help support the channel and get more things like the iTrack dock in for review. Uh, this stuff costs money. I buy it on eBay myself. This is not stuff that I'm getting uh, through any sort of deal. So if you feel like supporting the channel and getting more stuff like that in so I can do videos like this, uh, that would be awesome. I appreciate any support, including uh, just, just nice comments. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.